And hundreds of viewers have been sending in questions about the COVID-19 outbreak, and we're working hard to answer them with the facts, not fear. Joining us today, Dr. Frank Lavecchio with Valley Wise Health Medical Center. Dr. Lavecchio, it's great to have you. I know you're working later on tonight, so we appreciate your time. Oh, my pleasure, Tram. Thanks for having me. All right, here's our first question from Cindy in Phoenix. She wants to know, can adding a coffee filter to a DIY mask be effective in filtering out the virus in the air? You know, that's a great question and one that I've looked up myself. It's very interesting. The best thing to do is put two pieces of fabric and putting something in the middle to prevent the particles from coming in would actually help you. A coffee filter is very easy, and they actually did a study out of Missouri where they found that it knocks out 24% of the particles entering in, 25% of the virus particles coming in. Obviously, that was done in the lab, et cetera. A better thing would be if you can get your hands on a HIPAA filter. Now, I'm speaking way out of my league, but allegedly you can get those in an air conditioning store at a, or a home improvement store. So a HEPA filter, H-E-P-A, is probably better if you can kind of cut those. Realize, of course, you got to wash your mask and I, I don't think they'll withstand you know, many washings, certainly not a coffee filter, but it's actually a good idea. Okay, that's good to know. And maybe take out the filter before you put in the wash and could you reuse it again? Yeah. Um, you might be able to reuse the HEPA filter, but I think you probably have to clean that off too. And there's probably special ways uh, to clean that off. You're always safest. I always say everyone has the ultimate cleaner, which is time. You know, if you say you're worried about touching something that somebody else touched, you know, I say put it outside for a while, you know, just wait. This thing is not going to last forever on surfaces. And again, it depends on the surface, etc. And also, the other thing is dilute bleach. Obviously, you can't eat dilute bleach, and it's tough to inhale. So if you put dilute bleach on it, wait a little while, you know, overnight, you'd be fine. Okay, great advice. Dr. Lavecchia, we thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And remember, we want to answer your questions, so post them on our 12 News Facebook page or text us 602-444-1212. You can also download our 12 News app for all the facts, not fear information on the coronavirus.